actually uh, look at a segment on the wall, let's say this one here, we see here that this is an, uh, what's coming into this segment is an IP signal. And uh, you can actually do a drop down on uh, the services that it detects in that IP. And you choose the program that you're interested to display here. And that would be, and on this one, the content comes in from a file, a local cached in on a drive. And here is, this is how you create the environment, how the application is supposed to react when a certain event occurs. Now, here when we see a, let's say a freeze on a video, we're asking what to do. We have the application that we define Somewhat, somewhat else that uh, I'll come up to that in a few minutes. Here we are asking the application to react to it or off. That means that let's say there is a, let's say we know there is no audio in the content. So if it detects, hey, there's no audio, we could actually turn off that. Or if you turn it on in the application, we have to define what to do in case there is no audio. Here is uh, how we define the events. That events could be quite a variety of ways. It supports SNMP. Now here, we can define if any of those events occurs, the system can automatically send an email to, uh, to someone and uh, notify them that there is an issue, we are able to not only display the content here on screen, we also able to open a stream, an IP stream to outside. So let's say you're um, getting a satellite signal and uh, you are able to actually send a multicast or unicast stream or IP to a a third client for monitoring or to be able to capture that, to be able to store that. And so it has the capability of outputting content as they come in uh, so it be able to store them for later retrieval or for archiving. QCheck consists of uh, three parts, uh, the wall, you design the wall and you display where the input's going to be you uh, design, you define where the inputs are. The inputs can be um, RF, it could be IP, it could be a static uh, file. And RF, it could be a satellite signal, DBBT, HVSP, QAM. Uh, it could be an ASI, DBBASI signal. And uh, uh, one, uh, also the third part is uh, how you define, uh, how you let the application know when there is an issue with any of them, with any of the incoming uh, signal. One last item to cover is uh, how the licensing works. Normally, let's say this particular system is a 10 license, then 10 licenses uh, based on whether the content is HD or SD. If it's HD, each HD content that is for displaying, monitoring, and verifying, that's a two license. One is standard depth would be one license. A teletext or DVB subtitle that's a half a license and extra audio would be 0.2 license. The systems come in um, with a different hardware based system. We could do, um, a system can do about 10 HD MPEG-2 transport stream or 5 HD H.264 or you can do 40 standard MPEG-2 or 25 standard H.264 it takes a little bit more CPU power and subsystem muscle 
to take it out MPEG-2 than H.264. That's why if the content coming in is MPEG-2, you're able to display and monitor more than H.264. But the licenses is the same. Licenses is exactly the same. If it's HD, it's a two licenses. If it's a standard depth, it's a single licenses. In conclusion, if you have uh, transport stream feeds coming from a variety of uh, channels, IP, satellite, ADSB, QAM, DVB-T, ASI, and uh, you require to monitor them and uh, make sure that everything going smooth and be able to depend that there is a software watching those content all the time and raising a flag then when there's abnormality here's uh, QCheck QCheck is uh, shipped in a 3RU unit with i7 state-of-the-art CPU and uh, any hardware requirement have to be ordered when the system is integrated. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening from San Diego.